spawning here at the bottom right. We've got our red Protoss player playing for the team of Dragon Phoenix Gaming. Put your hands together for Hero. And spawning here at the top left, he is our blue Terran player playing for Team NV. He is Korea's own Bunny. And look at what we have here. Hero beginning this series with a little bit of cheeky play. I'm gonna proxy a second gateway. Now will this SCV scout it? I don't think so. Yeah, he is gonna just barely pass on by. You are doing a nice job denying this CC. The, yeah, looks like a uh, bunny is gonna have some, maybe some idea. Uh, re really soon, cause he's not gonna scout the second pylon here. Although, as I say that, uh, I guess that's pretty normal. But he does not see a nexus here, so he's gonna be thinking something's up. And the thing is, I, does he see it? Oh my god, he doesn't even see it with the Reaper! <laughs> oh man, but I think he, he, he knows that something's in, in you know, something's a weird here. So he is going to go ahead and just throw down the CC safely onto the high ground. So well done there. A great decision by Bunny to, uh, to make the CC on the high ground instead. Uh, but the bunker is going to go up, and that is probably going to shut down this pressure. I don't see Hero breaking that bunker with only a, a stalker and a and an adept here. So yeah, looks like uh, Hero is going to actually expand. But little does he know that there is a bunker. Now he knows actually with that firing. And that is going to be so annoying for Hero to defend because he has no second pylon or third pylon at the low ground. So he can't even make a, a shield battery to help break that. That's going to be so annoying for him to uh, to deal with. In the meantime, this is really not going to do too much. I mean, I think Hero at this point needs to just fall back and try to take down this bunker or else this, he's just going to fall far, further and further behind with the economy here. Uh, once again, he does not have a shield battery here to help out in breaking this. So he is going to probably going to lose some units. Or maybe he can kind of micro this enough. The Reaper just not does not get uh, away here, so we are going to be able to finally start mining off from his natural. Uh, but you know what? Bunny also has already started mining off his natural and now going to go ahead and establish his uh, ramp area here. Fortify it at least. Oh wow, that's a lot of stalkers though. Oh my god, if he can get on top of these uh, units then, that might... Oh, okay. Looks like Bunny is gonna be able to wall that off, but imagine if he just... If he were just walked up right there. He would have been able to just like... Completely overwhelm the Terran. The tank just barely uh, was done. Was not sieged up, so... I think that was a little bit of a missed opportunity for him hero, but... I don't blame him. I mean, he wanted to make sure that it was safe to go on up. So he shaded the adept just to just kind of scout around. But yeah, it looks like the game does progresses on. Um, here we're going to go ahead and start taking his third base. Uh, Banshee, does the Banshee have cloak? No cloak here, but there's no stalkers as well. 
no shield batteries in the mineral line. So Bunny's gonna go ahead and force a little bit of mining time of hero. Oh, let me go ahead and print up, put up the uh, production tab here. Looks like uh, he's trying to hunt down uh, that banshee. Oh, he does get it. Nice. You know, as a protoss myself, knowing that you kill the banshee off, it just takes a load off your shoulder because you, you don't need to worry about it, and you don't need you don't you don't have to even follow that up with a shield battery in the mineral line. You can de kind of delay it. And so, uh, you know, it's kind of a relief for Hero to um, know that that blinks, uh, that, uh, sorry, that um, Banshee is not going to be coming in for, from some poking, so. You can kind of rest easy on that. And now he just focused on mining, or making those probes, getting the upgrades, making his uh, units. Looks like he is going to go ahead and... Get some immortals out for uh, to deal with the tank. Oh, I think he saw that with the observer. Yeah, he's moving his stalkers. He's trying to gonna, gonna try to intercept this, and would it it would be such a a nice intercept if he can kind of get that. Oh, he is parking his stalkers. Wow, ni nice uh, catch there. Oh. Oh, just barely. In the meantime, War Prison drop. We'll go ahead and disrupt the mining of Bunny just a little bit. <laughs> Stockish in the alarm chat saying recall. Yeah, imagine if a uh, Terran had recall. I mean, he would be able to recall this uh, <laughs> warp or sorry, this uh, medevac. Wouldn't that be nice? At least for the Terran. Back there. You know, it's funny, uh, funny has yet to see this, uh, proxy gateway. I mean, if Hero wants to attack right now, he can actually make use of that proxy gateway and, like, get some reinforcement weapons. Alright, here we go. Alright, oh! A lot of these charge lights are gonna eat up some of these tank shots, but nice. Well, decent swarm, I guess. But does Hero have enough? You know what? You can probably warp in and get like a little bit of a, a sandwich there. But in the meantime, uh, Bunny's gonna go ahead and... Oh, he actually gets away with his uh, medevac. But doesn't quite find anything there. As uh, Hero does warp in some units. Um, but yeah, does does Hero commit to this attack? I don't think so. I mean, right now, Bunny, he's uh, he has the defender's advantage. I think uh, Hero just might want to go ahead and just like retreat for the time being, wait for those uh, High Templars to gather up their energy. And uh, also he's, uh, you know, Hero's the one that's on, on uh, four bases compared to the three bases of Bunny. So his economy is going to be ahead for the time being. And, uh, you know, he wants to make sure that he reaps the benefit of having that faster um, Nexus by mining from it long enough. Okay, finally, at the uh, 10 minute or so mark, the 10, 10 and a half minute mark, Bunny's gonna finally see that proxy gateway there. And 
it looks like both of these players are gonna go ahead and just try to just macro for the time being. Uh, Bunny looking for a little bit of oh oh that was some beautiful storms there. Here comes the chase down. Hero got the blink, but look at the rest of the rest of uh, Bunny's force is gonna come up. But nice storm, beautiful storm at the center of that bio ball. So much of these ghosts going down as well. A lot of them in red life or orange life at the very least. Luckily for Bunny, he does have a lot of medevac energy. But oh, oh, nice EMP on these uh, high tempos. Got to be careful with them. Um, but looks like Hero does at least have some disruptors, so maybe he can kind of get some nice connection. Um, it's going to be hard though because Bunny is going to have the, that kiting opportunity. That's the one of the good things about Bio. You can kite, you know, back if need be. Once again, nice EMP on the Archon. And now Hero is going to have to retreat. Colossus being made on the production tab. So Hero, uh, knowing that there are ghosts out in the field and not a lot of Vikings here, will go ahead and try to transition into Colossus. But unbeknownst to him, uh, Bunny is already starting to make Colossus tech. Or sorry, not Colossus tech. Uh, starting to make a Viking on the production. And here we go. Nice EMP once again. I don't think Hero's got the advantage here with uh, no High Templars. So he might want to go ahead and just... Uh... Oh, 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 just barely. Let's see here, how many uh, Colossus? Okay, four Colossus on the field, so that's that's uh, pretty good. Um, however, there's not a lot of Disruptors, only two Disruptors in this uh, Protoss army here. Bunny gonna go ahead and go for the pre-spread. Might wanna, might need to pull the SV. Oh, actually, never mind. He does have another force here onto the uh, bottom side. Gonna try to go for the sandwich, but the disruptor is gonna. Oh, that was a juicy hit there. And disruptor is really good at um, zoning out the Terran force. A little bit of a blunder on the micro from Bunny. East that disruptor hit really, really hard. And now, Hero is going to take the overall lead here with a 179 overall supply versus the 156 of Bunny. Um, he does Bunny does have the, uh, the, the 9 o'clock base established, though. Hero has yet to take his 5th base. He keeps trying to take his 5th base, but that this, uh, that Widow Mine kept denying it. So, finally, was able to clean that out. Now, he's going to be able to take his 5th base. Uh, but it looks like Hero is going to go ahead and try to take the game here. He does have so much uh, splash damage with the Colossus and the Disruptors. Uh, he stopped on the High Templars though, and the Archons, knowing that there are ghosts on the field. But I wouldn't mind, uh, uh, you know, some adding some a little bit of ghosts and, and Archons here and there. It's great to have two splash damage units, but better to have uh, three or four, right? Uh, but I, I really like this pre-spread here by Bunny, knowing that he's going to have to get a really great engagement. But Hero does not overextend, which will allow him to uh, back out from getting a uh, flank there onto the left and right. So uh, Hero playing this very safe, but he does not have an Observer out front. He does have an Observer in his army, but he doesn't have an Observer out front to scout where the uh, army of Bunny is. He's going to actually go ahead and take on the army onto the right side. Going to throw down some disruptors hits uh, to zone out the left side. So really nice engagement for Hero. You know, kind of engaging with like a half or two third or one third of uh, Bunny's army. But the Viking counts has grown to the point where it has outnumbered the Colossus. And now Hero is down to one Colossus in his army. He's going to desperately try to make some more Colossus, but at this point, I would just, uh, add in other spellcasters, uh, like, you know, the High Templars. 
Oh, Bunny actually feeling really, really safe here. To just hold on with the rest of what he has. Going to go ahead and split his army and attack. And uh, that will go ahead and kill out one of uh, Hero's base. But Hero, he himself does have a strong army. Going to take out another base of Bunny. So they're kind of training base for base. However, 16 SCVs on this base does get killed. In the meantime, recall will be used here for the for a hero to defend the natural. So overall, nice uh, trade there for hero as he uh, you know they trade bases, but Bunny lost more SCVs, and now Bunny down to 49 SCV versus the 70 of hero. Hero oh does not want to engage in this choke area. Oh boy, that that is uh that was not very good. That was not very good. All right, hero deciding whether he wants to engage or go for that uh that base there. Oh man! Oh, juicy EMP! All the high templars run out of energy for storms, and now hero is going to go ahead and try to. Retreat back a little bit. Again, there's no, there's not a lot of answers for those disruptors. So, Hero can kind of keep zoning out Bunny's army. And uh, yeah, I think this is too much splash damage for Bunny to handle. And Hero, gonna go ahead and take the first game. We have Hero going up 1 0 against Bunny. Of course, with a uh, starting off the game with a proxy gateway. Now the thing is, the proxy gateway did not do too much damage, because Bunny he was able to get the bunker up, and despite that, Hero was able to pull out the win. So now we head into a game where there are no proxies, there are no cheeses. Gonna be a normal one. Oh, just barely one health on that little pro B. And he does scout that there is a marine opening, which means that there's potentially a quicker factory. And uh, now the question is, will this go? Will this be a, uh, a kind of a medevac kind of drop, or is this going to be wither mines? Uh, well, I guess we shall find out. Um, right now, reactor going up for uh, the blue Terran. No Stargate yet, though. Okay, there we go. Stargate finally throws down. All right, will it be? Oh, okay, it looks like it's going to be Hellions. Hero once again opening up with the Twilight. So, uh, you know, Hero very comfortable with the Blink Stalker opening. I mean, for a man that goes for a lot of heavy gateway units, uh, you would imagine he is very comfortable with a Blink Stalker control. Alright, so uh, actually following up with uh, Widow Mines instead of uh, four, four Hellions. So, looks like the Hellions are going to go ahead and just try to take map control. I guess let's get some like scouting done while he builds up to the uh, Medivac with the with the Widow Mines. Now we'll see if a Hero can respond to the Widow Mines in time. Now he does have some buildings at the edge of his base, so that allows him some a, a bit extra time to respond to the Widowmon drop. However, it looks like Bunny is going to head to the north, the, the natural instead. And he doesn't quite have any vision onto the left side of the base. Well, actually, never mind. He's just going to go ahead and fly right over. Oh, 
Oh wow, Stalker blocking the Hellions. Oh my god. That was actually really not bad here from Hero. He took he takes out the Medivac. He blocks the Hellions from getting any damage done. And he cleans up the rest of the Widow Mine. So well done there. That that went as well as you could ask for. Really, to to be fair, I mean, look at that. Losing twice the amount of minerals. Three times the amount of gas. Or sorry, four times the amount of gas. So well handled there by Hero. Especially since he uh canceled the uh wall off at the very last second to allow those Hellions to come in. Some great micro. And now it's time for Hero to go for the counter damage here. That is so much stalkers, 10 stalkers here. Only one tank to cover the base of Hero. And looks like Hero's gonna now maneuver towards the... Uh... Oh, I was gonna say he's gonna maneuver towards the natural, but looks like he would cause half of them, half the stalkers to deal with the Raven, so. For the time being, gonna back out. Uh, it is important to note that while Hero did defend that attack, his third Nexus was actually uh, a little bit delayed here, so... Looks like uh, for the time being, uh, Bunny is going to take the economic lead with the meals and all. Uh, and yeah, it looks like the, the worker count, surprisingly, in, surprisingly more even than it should be, I think Hero might have either forgotten to produce probes or he was just too focused on the attack across the map. Nice little play there to take out the tank. Alright, Bunny going to go ahead and get a bit more aggressive. Not only is he going to harass with the Raven, going to actually drop into the main as well with the Medivac. Uh, however, he's got to be careful because Hero does got that blink upgrade, so he can blink underneath the medevac. Um, yeah, Bunny with these a uh, little bit of harassment, getting some nice uh, probe kills. Uh, it looks like the third nexus of Hero has kicked in, so it has allowed Hero to um, to pull a bit further ahead on the on the worker count there. Uh, but gotta you gotta note that Bunny does have that one upgrade lead, and he does have the the plus uh, one armor on the way, so and only now is Hero's Forge going to be done. So for the time being, Hero's upgrades will be a bit laggy, uh, lagging behind. But he is—he did go for the uh, the quicker storm, which means that yeah, he does have a bit of a later upgrade. But his splash damage uh, tech will be more uh, further along. And that's going to be important because, you know, Bunny is going for more of a bio play here. And oh no! That was a little bit of an unlucky pathing way. Aw oh, man, that, that's tough for a hero. Not only does the War Prism allow him to harass, but it allows him to carry up those uh, High Templars for Storm. So he's going to have to remake that War Prism. And I think he lost uh, four char uh, Zealot there in the uh, War Prism. I believe. Yeah. Oh, does slow down the uh, the charge upgrade there. So uh, looks like he's gonna have to remake a pylon as well as sub another cybernetic core. So annoying for hero. Now, of course, that's the one the one thing that a wall off does do well is to wall off any uh, reaper 
Reaper, it, it blocks the Reaper from getting in, but later in the game, if the Terran does, decides to go onto that edge, onto that ledge, it, it allows him to just kill it off with, uh, with uh, not many options for the Protoss to defend. So, but you know what? It's not too bad. Um, Hero will finally uh, be able to complete the research on that that uh, charge upgrade and uh, doesn't he's not in like a dire need of some stalker so that cybernetic core not gonna really hinder too much obviously with a uh, kind of uh, this uh, army composition that hero is going for he's more he, he needs more of the um, the charge line instead of the stalkers uh, the, the, the blink stalkers are good for the early game but when you head into the mid to late game you want to you want to warp in more charge lines of stalkers so here we go bunny's gonna go ahead and put on some pressure onto this fourth base of hero doing a nice job just segmenting uh, some of his army to take up uh, some of the storm damage before he engages with the rest of his army and oh war prism once again does go down oh my god great storm there but the rest of Hero's reinforcements will go ahead and join into the fight. But that leaves up the natural to be open. And oh my god, this this Artosis pylon will get shut down. Or will get killed. And, but in the meantime, Hero is going to go ahead and give chase to a Bunny's army. He's got to be careful though. Not to uh, overextend. Does ha he have enough army? A lot of stalkers in this storm not really connecting here. But it looks like a, a stream of red units are coming to help. In the meantime, the Raven still alive. is still doing uh, some uh, damage here with the auto turrets and a lot of trading back and forth. Alright, looks like uh, the plus 2-2 two, two of the Terran is about to finish. That is going to really help out during the fight. And Hero, I don't think uh, he's going to be able to win that fight. He's probably going to need to just like back out for now and get up that Colossus tech. And oh my goodness, these random widow mines just doing wonders for Bunny here. Taking out the War Prism. One, the War Prism had one High Templar in it as well. So, and right now, Hero needs to save all the high, te high Templars as much as possible, because he is lagging behind greatly on the upgrade counts. All right, looks like uh, Bunny is going to go ahead and eat up some of the storm damage. We'll go ahead and retreat, but there's only one Colossus left. Another good set of EMPs. Alright, two more Colossus will join up. Join up. Uh, Thermalance about to finish. Wow, that is pretty interesting. Uh, throughout this whole time, no Thermalance for those Colossus. Uh, finally, Colossus uh, Thermal Lance will finish as well as plus uh, one armor and uh, plus one shield. And I think Hero has weathered the storm. I mean, he was behind by three upgrades. And he has managed to uh, pretty much weather the storm and continue expanding. And... Uh, now, don't get me wrong. The, with the 3-3 three, three upgrade of Bunny... You're still going to be ahead on the upper count, but at least uh, Hero does buy himself some more time to uh, start incorporating uh, more splash damage units. He does have uh, Archon, he does have the Colossus, he does have the High Templars, but he's now adding in this, so those Disruptors. And remember what happened in the first game, those Disruptors did such a great job zoning out the uh, Terran army. And that's going to be very important as we head on into this... Uh, late game here 
But oh no, Hero's gonna take uh, the engagement a, br uh, a bit more preemptively. And now all the valued units like the Colossus and the Archons are now gonna get, go down. And that was just a, a terrible engagement for our red Protoss. He really should have just waited for the disruptors because the, you know that that this that that discourages the Terran from getting on top of the Proton army. So uh, yeah, that was just not the greatest uh, engagement there for for Hero. Um, he's still not out of it. He still have a lot of bases, but Bunny, he's going to be on the driver's seat. He's going to be the one, um, probably you know just harassing and attacking Hero from now on. I mean, a lot of uh, Hero's army is just like spread out across the left and the right. Oh my god, uh, Len Lenai in the live chat just pointed out 103 probes. <laughs> well, now 104 probes. My goodness. I do not remember uh, the last time uh, Protoss went to a hun over 100 probes. This is absolutely insane. Hero going just absolutely crazy on the pros. However, he needs more units than probes right now. I don't even think he has enough bases to mine off from uh, 105 probes. He's still making two more probes on the production. Oh my goodness. Hero, please stop with the probe production. You need army right now. Wow, Hero is just going absolutely probe happy right now. 107 probes, ladies and, gen and gentlemen. I, I do not recall the last time <laughs> a Protoss went that high of a probe count. And uh, you know what? That probe... Uh the probe count has allowed Hero to really mine off a lot of minerals, and now he's banking 3k minerals. Which means that if he wanted to, he can probably go for a bunch of like Zealot, or, or sorry, a bunch of Charge Lot counterattacks to shut down some of these bases of, uh, of Bunny. And uh, oh, 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 just in the nick of time. We'll cancel out that nuke. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a base trade as uh, both of these armies of the Protoss and Terran are out of position. Uh, Hero can't recall because I think he just recalled uh, just moments ago. So he is going to go ahead and dive in for that counterattack. However, it looks like the rest of Bunny forces are going to come back. Oh, actually, does catch out some of these uh, units in the backside. Colossus, all the Colossus has gone down. Now there's just a bunch of Stalkers and Disruptors. Oh my god, looks like Hero is indecisive as where he wants to move his army. Ooh. This is some really sloppy engagements. Looks like Bunny has segmented off some of his army, but the, uh, Army in the south side are lagging a bit behind. But these disruptors are so exposed. Oh man, so much disruptors going down. But it looks like the rest of the stalkers will be able to push Bunny back for the time being. And once again, random widow mines. Almost very Clem like when he plays against Zerg. And what is this game? What is this game? All right, we're gonna go ahead and see if that nuke does connect, and it does, but no, nothing there, no probes there. Not a lot of static defense as well, no shield battery or cannon, so doesn't lose too much, but Bunny does lose a good amount here. The base goes down, 13 SABs go down. And Bunny himself, uh, he is down all the way down to 69 
SCVs. It looks like the 107 probe uh, strategy has has worked. When in doubt, go over 100 probes, it seems like. Hero, my goodness, he was behind on the upgrades and uh, had a couple of bad engagement earlier on, but now all of a sudden the resources are kicking in. He's got a huge bank behind this and he is pushing on forward. He has effectively took in half of his side of the base or ha ha half his side of the map and Bunny, he is a... Uh, he is uh, kind of <laughs> surviving by the skin of his teeth here. Uh, this base got to be saved, man. This is a really important base. This is one of the few mining bases that Bunny has. I mean, he does have that that bottom right, but besides that, he, he, uh, this is pretty much his utter, you know, relatively full mining base. And Bunny doing a nice job maneuvering his uh, stalkers. Uh, these uh, these Colossus is doing a nice amount of splash damage. This uh, Liberator though in the backside actually still alive, doing some nice damage. But the rest of uh, Heroes reinforcements join up into the fight, and now all that is left is uh, a couple of bio units with a uh, very low energy Metavax. And I think Hero is just gonna slowly but surely overwhelm the Terran player. Oh my god, please don't. Okay, there we go. Nice kiting there. Here we're gonna go ahead and just blink on top. He is confident enough. He is gonna go ahead and take this game and take the series lead 2 to 0. Absolutely brutal game here. Very back and forth. Quite messy at times too. But Hero manages. To pull this off, once again, 107 probes. He has gone up back to 107 probes after losing a couple of them. <laughs> My goodness. But he's going to go ahead and try to do one last stand with whatever he has. Uh, but as you can see in the resources, he uh, has absolutely depleted his minnows and gases while here on the other side. He's got 3.4k, 3.5k minerals, almost 3k gas. So if uh, somehow, some way, Bunny still manages to clean this up, he, uh, Hero's going to be able to uh, kind of max out rel relatively quickly once again. It's just a matter of time before Hero go for the finishing blow. I mean... With that planetary going down, uh, really not a lot left here for Bunny. And, uh, Bunny being uh, quite stubborn here. He's determined to uh, somehow, some way, turn this game around. But I mean, look, he, you know, here was a hundred, <laughs> hundred supply ahead right now, and there we have it. Bunny gonna go ahead and GG on out. Hero, gonna take game number two. All right, looks like uh, we have ourselves a little bit of cheese that uh, might be coming. On his way, as uh, we do see a proxy Stargate. All right, I, I quite like this because you know, right now, Hero, he's got the 2 0 lead, he can afford to take some risk. And uh, right now, you know, the, the first two uh, semifinal series was a 3 0, and uh, Hero, he's once again looking for another 3 0. We might have ourselves three straight series with 3 0s. You're just going to go ahead and try to uh, gamble a little bit with this uh, Stargate play. Unfortunately for Bunny, no scout. No SCV scout or anything. No Reapers on the way. He's going to be in the dark and he's not going to expect 
This Orko coming his way. Oh, and he's making oh he's making Hellions. He's not even making Widowmice to help defend against the Orcos. There are no Marines. Oh wait, there's one Marine. No widow mines. This Orko, I am gonna imagine will do a lot of damage. I mean there's no there's, there's no anti-air besides one puny marine. And uh, we might just have a quick Yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and evacuate his SCVs. We might have ourselves a quick 3-0, a third game here. Oh my goodness. This is uh it's gonna be tough to see to watch. So many SCVs are gonna go down. There's a second Oracle that just popped out as well. And uh, he's gonna, gonna go ahead and make a Phoenix to take out, uh, to take some of the Widowmine hit. So he can kind of dive in here with the second Oracle. But yeah, he, actually, he was gonna retreat his uh, Oracle back at home because he's like, there's like very little units here. So he's gonna, probably gonna need some defense. And uh, you know what? That was the right call as. Two Hellions makes his way into the mineral line. I gotta say, uh, considering this opening, I'm a little surprised that Bunny has not taken as much damage. I mean, this should have been like a almost maybe double digit SCV loss, I would imagine. I mean. yeah I mean there there has been a lot of uh, mining time lost from the SVs being pulled but given what the start was I I'd say uh, bunny is should be happy considering where he was at So uh, what does Hero transitions uh, into here? It looks like he's adding his Twilight Council into the Forge. It looks like he's going to transition to once again, heavy gateway units. It has worked for him for the past, let's say, uh, five games or so. Even adding some safety sh uh, shoe batteries here. And uh, looks like it is going to be the right choice as uh, Bunny is looking to attack. However, is he? Does he even have? No, he doesn't even have stem here. All right, looks like Bunny is going to go ahead and try to commit into this. Uh, he does. Does a preemptive scan sees that there are shield batteries, even the third one being added? He's gonna go ahead and try to back on out. Uh, might want to go ahead and go to the other side. Oh, this, does he see this? Oh, he does not see this. Hero buying himself a lot of time to uh, make some additional units here. Uh, but I can't imagine Bunny breaking Hero as Hero does have his three shield batteries up. Uh, and Bunny, he's quite committed. He is not going for a... Oh, actually, never mind. He is going for a dirt CC, so... Looks like, uh, he was just... Just poking in here and not quite... All in. But Hero, he is not letting Bunny retreat here. He is gonna go ahead and take the engagement and... Uh, that was a little bit... Interesting. Quite frankly, I was not expecting uh, Hero to take that engagement, but looks like in his mind he uh, felt like he had the enough units to to take it on. But that was, of course, not the case. As uh, these cyclones, four cyclones still alive, and oh, actually, looking forward here, I'm gonna take out the rest of these cyclones. All right, 
right, looks like Hero's gonna go ahead and get on top of Bunny's army. Gonna clean this up once and for all. Push uh, Bunny back. And here we go, once again. All their army is reset it pretty much. Still have a bunch of, you know, a few stalkers and, and these slow, slow, slow uh, zealots here. Might, might want to get just back out with the <laughs> slow zealots there, because uh, at the very least the the stalkers can blink away if need be. But hero is gonna. Okay, you know what? I think uh, hero his his play style right now is his best defense is to go for the offense. He's uh, trying to keep Bunny on his side of the map by poking out, even though he doesn't have the army to take to take on uh, Bunny fully. He's trying to force Bunny to play defensively right now, so that he can start taking all these bases. He's taking his fifth base right now, while Bunny is still on three bases, um, and he can only do that by playing aggressively instead of passively. So even though he does not have um. He didn't have a you know a charge before he, uh, he was poking in just to force Bunny to play defensively. But now he does have charge, and ha oh, unfortunately for Bunny, a medevac full of units are across the map to try to drop, and now he's got to retreat. He got to pull back and retreat. Oh man, he just caught Bunny off guard here, and uh, does very significant damage, taking down 19 SCVs. Now make that 22 SCVs here. And even if Hero loses the rest of his army, I think the damage has been done. The da damage has definitely been done. SCV loss goes up all the way up to 30. And uh, now Bunny is uh, working off of 33 workers, while Hero's got 79 workers off of 5 bases. I wouldn't be surprised if Hero just took a 6th base right now. Make, you know what? Took a 6th and 7th base. He is that far ahead, and there is absolutely nothing that Bunny can do about it. Hero's got the 1-1 one, one upgrade versus the only the plus one of Bunny as well. Everything is going for Hero's advantage. And uh, once again, just doing it off gateway units. Just, just charge lot and stalkers and one sentry. There's no, there's no Colossus here. There is no Disruptor here. There's no Archons. There's no Carriers. It's just pure gateway units and Hero, once again, going to make it work. He is going to go ahead and win this finals 3-0. Congratulations to Hero, making a case as to why he is considered the best Protoss right now.